myriad deceptive schemes they employed to inflate asset values and conceal facts were so outrageous that they belie innocent explanation. On the campaign trail, Trump has blasted the case. That built a tremendous cup. You actually got to see that with this fake trial I have going on in New York. Defense lawyers said in a court filing the New York Attorney General introduced no evidence that anyone relied on any alleged misrepresentation and or that anyone was injured. ABC's Aaron Katursky reporting. It's the first big winter storm of the year. From the Carolinas to Maine, more than a dozen states under winter storm warnings. Snow has begun falling in New York City. You're listening to ABC News. Arizona's news station. News station. KTAR. On air. 92.3 FM. Online at KTAR.com. And streaming live on the KTAR News app. Your breaking news and traffic. Now. Good afternoon. KTR News Time is 2.02. I'm Ballin over Stoles. KTAR News. Eyes on education. Save Our Schools Arizona supports the governor's efforts to try and rein in the Empowerment Scholarship Account Program. Here's more on that. Beth Lewis with Save Our Schools tells the Mike Broomhead Show the ESA program allows state money to be used for private schools, and she worries about public schools being underfunded because the program is pulling money from the K-12 fund. The legislature did budget about $624 million uh, for this year, and we're, we've already blown through that, about $80 million. Uh, and we're going to Arizona is preparing for a new threat to our elections, AI misinformation. Secretary of State Adrian Fontes tells the Mike Broomhead Show a big part of preventing misinformation is ensuring our officials know about the new technology. We had some folks from Palo Alto, California and D.C. and New York talking about AI at one of the dinners. They